Good, one more. Afternoon guys, hope you're well. We will take a show of hands for questions and we'll set up embargo part way through for 10.30 on Sunday. We start with Phil, please. Hi, Pat. Um, ultimately, it's another three points, a step closer to everything, but maybe a little hairier than it could have been for the final few minutes. You seemed unhappy that Erling didn't take the penalty and gave it to Ilkay. Could you expand and explain that to us, The please? performance was excellent. The performance was excellent. We played really, really good. Maybe we were not clinic and enough, or but it's football. But uh, I'm not going to make a, explain what's my feelings about the game for the last five or six or seven minutes. Because in general, it was really good. The first half better than the second, but the second was was under control and everything. And uh, who knows if uh, Erling take the penalty and miss it. What happened if Riyad uh, take the penalty and miss it? What happened if Ilka Gundo and take a penalty and score? So the question is, it's 2-0, who's the taker? The taker is Erling, is Riyad, they have to take it. It's 2-0. That's the first point. Second point, that means how, how is, how is uh, Erling as a, as a person. So, I said many times, he incredible, want to score a goal, score a goal, but at the same time, the, the team, the mates, same important, you know. He got chances to score a goal, he they didn't convert, but he played outstanding game early, played with relation and the chances that he had. It means it doesn't matter. But with 2-0, especially in everywhere, especially in England, never is over. And um, and I want, you know, who's the taker because I have more routine, have a specialist and the other one to take it. But that's all. So that means the uh, same. That means that Erling take a penalty or Real take a penalty is going to score. Maybe don't. So who knows? Jamie. Hi, Pep. J just to follow up on the penalty, you said to, after it, after it was missed, you said to Erling, or you could be lip red anyway, so you have to. You take, have to take it. Yeah. yeah. Um, given how professional you are and your team, you must have been surprised Erling didn't take it for that very reason. Because but it's be so nice. Because it's so nice. Well, well, nice isn't always professional, is it? If you understand what I'm trying to no, say. No, no, no. It's a professional, honestly. Do you know the last game we played against uh, West Ham? We finished at 10:30-11. He went directly to the training centre to make a treatment. At 11:30-12, was he, him and Ruben who was to make a treatment. Of course, he's a professional. I, yeah. So I just meant this actual decision wasn't the most professional because you try to win the title and you have to be ruthless. He's ruthless. <laughs> But in the same time, they said, OK, we'll kind of score a hat trick, I guess. We want to do it. And he's so generous, he's so nice. You know, it doesn't mean that Erling take a penalty and miss it. Who knows it? So it's not about that. But the feeling is he has more confidence right now because he has taken maybe 10, 11 penalties. He had this feeling. And Gundogan didn't have that feeling right now. But I understand both sides. I understand, you know? So because the game could be over for advance, for the chances, for the way they play. Because now the first two questions about Erling, what happened? It's okay. That, but 95 minutes during 89, it was really good. We read perfectly because the Roca and McKinney followed the pockets to, to Julian and Kevin. The spaces were with Gundogan and Rico. And Rico making incredible commits. We played really good. We conceded one shoot and target and set pieces like they are good. Sam Allard is always their team. So set pieces are is a master. But in general, the team was really good. The second half, we were not intense, we were more controlled. We cannot forget three games in six days after the demanding game against Arsenal. They are human beings. That's why today I rotate seven players because I had the feeling right after Fulham, I didn't have the feeling I had to rotate. I see the team alive. But the day after, when I see the game against uh, West Ham, I had the feeling that, oh, they are tired. So I said they have to, to change it. And the plays, all the guys who came in for a long time, like the game from Laporte was exceptional. So all of them, Rico played exceptional. Everyone was in crowd of focus, know what you are playing for. But with 2 0, you have to close it. You don't have to give anything to the, you know, if you can control it, you have control it. Saying that, it doesn't matter. Gundo could have a score and the other ones could cut miss. So who knows it? It's not about that. I, I admire a lot the uh, fact that Gundo want to take responsibility to score a goal, uh, take a penalty. <laughs> that is the best value as a player I have. But normally the taker is the taker. Erling had to take it because he's our specialist. 
Pep, just on Gundogan, he's had an amazing career and uh, there's a lot of discussion that he may leave in the summer. I wonder if, if he looks at what he's got here and the team that he's in, whether the temptation as a player is you've got the rest of your career to do other stuff that really there must be a strong feeling that he should stay, that anything is possible in this side. I said about the contract is going to have the, the club is involved in that. You know, the club knows my opinion about that, but the club is above me and had a decision. We do it together. The decision always we take together, you know? Whatever, do it in good and bad together. So it's not necessary Gundo scored two incredible goals, how good he played today, reading the spaces, you know, <laughs> he has everything. Incredible run in the final third and you know, and, and, and when I put a handy midfielder, how intelligent, how good it is. So, so necessary today I score perform really well, I score two goals to know exactly how I like this player and how I enjoyed all this time work with him and how I like to work with him in the future. Hi Pep, just how's Nathan Ake if he came off? I didn't speak with the doctor but apparently if he asked to you know, yeah, we will see next day. So. Okay, got the embargo for ten thirty on Sunday evening please, so much to start.